First up, we have Looking Glass. We have Chris with Looking Glass. And I have no idea what any of these lightning talks are really going to be about, so it's going to be a surprise to me. All these lightning talks are presented in Ignite format, which is 20 slides, 15 seconds each, auto advanced. So laugh with people, not at people, because um, you could be up there next time. Um, and please sit back and enjoy the next few minutes. Chris, take it away. Hi, is this live? Can you hear me? All right, so my name is Chris Dahlheimer. I'm the product owner of Threat Mitigation at Looking Glass. Um, so I'd like to talk to you about the Zeek-based IPS, so that's uh, Intrusion Prevention System. We've placed Zeek in line, and we're calling it the Aonic uh, Security Fabric. So um, the, our Looking Glass history, we've been in business doing, uh, in the hardware space, doing deep packet inspection and manipulation for around 20 years, and, and uh, essentially we've taken that technology and virtualized it and throw uh, Bro behind it. Um, so a lot of the security challenges we've seen with customers of today are um, you know, changing of network topologies, increasing of adversary-based capabilities, technical complexities in the security stacks, and you know, obviously the, the technical uh, operational efficiencies of orchestration and automation. So uh, with Aonic, we really tried to solve um, that problem with the goal of providing the next generation threat sensing and, and threat mitigation platform, um, all based on an interoperable fabric. Uh, so everything can talk to each other with, with really with Zeek at its core. So um, the security fabric in general is uh, uh, based on SDN, software-based networking, software-defined networking, and that is uh, providing threat visibility, coordinated defense, and advanced threat response, all integrated with OpenFlow. Um, the Aonic security fabric itself is uh, able to do a lot of the things that other point solutions currently do, um, intrusion detection systems, prevention systems, threat intelligence gateway, um, network traffic analysis, and obviously passive uh, asset inventory as well. We've, we've chosen Zeek as the first detection engine based on its extensibility and, and you know, behavioral analysis, but we're going to add more here in, in a couple, uh, couple weeks, uh, probably starting with Sericata and uh, Snort shortly thereafter. Um, we, we've been integrating um, with a lot of open standards as well as um, the security tools that you guys are already interested in and familiar with, providing security value like Splunk and Logarithm, um, we've integrated with a lot of deception-based technologies like Smokescreen. Uh, with Zeek specifically, we've written an action framework. So um, with any of your bro scripts, you can write two lines of code and trigger mitigations directly into our um, appliance, all, with, all within the same appliance itself. Uh, so you can pass the action as well as criteria. Um, that could be the five tuple and so forth. We've taken a lot of the out-of-the-box Zeek scripts and added mitigations to them where it made sense. So Heartbleed. Um, TCP scan detection, DNS hijacking, all of those now trigger mitigations directly in our appliance that sits in line. Um, we've rewritten the, the Zeek Intel framework to be Sticks 2.1 and Texas 2.1 compatible and also handle 100 million signatures as well. Uh, and also our mitigation actions go beyond just the simple block or allow. So um, really we wanted to turn the tide on the adversary um, and making them you know, think they're successful with transparent routes and overriding DNS responses and so forth. Um, so one of the things that we've really seen is we really wanted to decrease the time between detection and response. So um, we've built in orchestration within our, our platform as well. So um, you know, sessions that are alerted to the SIM and then orchestrated down, the session is already closed and you're, you're never gonna catch patient zero there. So, being built on top of a fabric architecture also, we're able to take one detection and spread the mitigation everywhere else uh, throughout your deployment as well. So you can handle you know, asymmetric routing and so forth. Um, our deployment options right now are, are either in stealth or address mode. So there's no layer two or layer three address in stealth mode being in line. Uh, so it's just a bump in the wire and address mode um, is required in some actual uh, deployments like the cloud um, where you actually have a layer two or layer three address. So, we can deploy on you know, commodity-based hardware, x86, as well as VMware, um, and we'll shortly be able to deploy in AWS uh, as a VPC or VPL here shortly as well, but you have to be addressable in that environment. Um, so some of the key points of, of Aonic, right, we want you to deploy it everywhere in the network, not just the perimeter. Um, no specialized hardware. Um, you know, we're gonna integrate with a lot of threat intelligence out of the box, being a threat-centric company. Um, the dynamic zone protection, we wanna leverage you guys as well as a community. But the key takeaway here is now, you know, Bro is no, Bro or Zeek is no longer just a passive technology, it's active as well. So we just start thinking of it as, as such. So 
I think that's all I have. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I'd like to you know, invite you back to our demo and, and booth, and I'd be happy to answer any questions as well as show you a live demo of, of everything we have. So thank you very much.